Hello everyone, and welcome back to Juno New Origins. There has been a 1.2.2 update, which is mainly, it seems, uh, for the mobile version, and they're implementing a freemium model so that uh, there's a free version, and then there's expansion bundles that include these things. And so, but I, I, I'm not interested in that. I don't play on mobile. So uh, we are going to ignore that. There are a bunch of tweaks and lots of career tweaks, including Fixing a bug preventing five blade props from being selected. Okay, well, that sort of gets to my main conundrum at the start of this episode, which is how to use props at all. Um, but I don't think adding extra blades will help my situation. Uh, but maybe I should at least use three. But yeah, we don't seem to be getting enough propulsion from this. And I didn't see any comments about what to, what to do about that. So, we're just going to wing it, and I'm going to try and figure it out. Uh, I, well, right now I can only get three blades because I love my technology, I suppose. So, this is how propellers normally look. This is definitely not how you want them, but maybe I'll try more pitch earlier. 45 is always a good number. I don't know what the hub scale actually does, except for looks. Does it have any practical effect? It increases the mass, but it doesn't seem to increase any other stats. Why would you want a big hub then? Is there a good reason for that? I don't know. Okay, well we'll save mass. Now, I thought we had unlocked battery. Yeah, we've unlocked battery. Explosive power. Anyway, um, we'll, we'll get to that later. But if it's all a battery, that adds a lot of mass. And reducing the, the power in it does not seem to reduce the mass. I think we'll just... Oh, now it's auto-selecting that. Um, we probably don't need that much, so let's just... Not have anything right now. Is there another part I need to use to help this out? <laughs> Maybe I should just ro put rocket engines. Rocket engines would be nice. There's a battery pack. That's handy, yeah. Let me... It's it's counterintuitive, but let me reduce the torque. And the RPM. It says max speed 130 meters per second, and when I reduce the RPM, it reduces the max speed. Does it mean that, though? Okay, well... Let's try it out. It's expensive, though. Fly horizontally. Okay, well, that's not too bad. It's already counted 2.84 kilometers. So, I guess... It really doesn't need me to do a whole heck of a lot. Maybe we could just use the rocket engine. Oh, it's not reading my throttle right now. Well, I mean, it's spinning, but we're not going fast. But maybe it'll go fast eventually? Six meters per second. Eight. <laughs> uh, this is a problem. This. Th uh, oh, see? Okay. See, I mean, that, that lip. Why do they even make that? Okay, well, we'll try to be careful going over that lip. Okay. Well, just by dint of the slope, we should get some speed, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to fly. This has a fairly short wing right now. I gotta try and turn it too much. 33 meters per second. Yeah, no. Uh, well, that's 73. That's good enough. Uh, but it's losing speed too much. And we're definitely not going shockingly fast. Oh, wait, we're going shockingly fast. 
Could have fooled me. It's very nose heavy. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. We got lucky. We got lucky. We got lucky. No, don't break it. <sighs> okay, we'll recover most of it. Maybe, if we stop sliding. Maybe we just need something better than electric motors. I'm, I'm pressing B for brakes, I swear. But brakes don't work laterally, laterally like this. I mean, we could try and drive around if this thing had a motor now. It'd be a fine place to drive around, much better than at the top of, you know, uh, with the airfield and all. At the top of the slope. Still moving too fast, aren't we? Oh no, we're not moving too fast, okay. Alright, so we recovered that, because, and that's good because it was expensive. And what else do we have to do? Shockingly fast Mach 0.3. Now you see, that's gonna be harder. Just under 100 meters per second. Well, we didn't get to 100 meters per second there. Off-roading bumps 55.6 sounds dangerous. The fireworks, I mean, we did planes, so let's just go to rockets. We'll... We'll cover all our bases in each episode or something like that. Going sideways, that's another rocket thing, but let's do fireworks quickly. So, fireworks wants us to get higher than 10 kilometers and go boom with 3162 boom power. Light speed wants us to go past 1 kilometer per second and reach 80 kilometers. I feel like we can do both of these things. We might even be able to that do that one too. Let me just accept that. So, <laughs> what I'd like to do is... Uh, we're gonna be a missile, aren't we? Okay, so we're gonna carry something that has 3162 boom power, but we won't be able to use it. It'll be a different fuel than is used by our rocket engine. And we're gonna try to get to... 1 km per second, 80 km in altitude, and go 500 km away from the village. Okay, so up here will be our boom power. And let's see, if we maximize the fuel, that's not enough boom power. What's the optimal boom power? It looks like solid is the optimal boom power. And it looks like we're gonna need a bigger rocket. It looks like, I mean, if, if we need such a big thing to get enough boom, I'm probably just going to... Probably just going to do the fireworks one first. Because otherwise we have to carry the boom power all the way up to 80 kilometers, right? So 10 kilometers and then we'll have the probe core do the boom thing, I suppose. I think that should be enough. It's expensive to go boom, though. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this explodes all the parts. It's a full self-destruct thing. That's less than the boom power we need right now. Okay, should be good enough. Will we get enough boom power? Okay, boom. Oh, it says in a single tank. Ah, oh. Come on. Why did you have to have the boom power in a single tank? Alright, fine. We gotta try to go for the 80 kilometers. Where is the 80 kilometer one though? I thought I picked it up. Oh, it said progression. Well, ah, I can't accept it. It's useless. Okay. Let's go horizontally, quickly, quickly. <laughs> but we're carrying that solid fuel. There's no way we can do it, really. 
Well, whatever. I'm gonna get my firework one way or another. Fine. In a single tank, it says. Well, as long as we don't have that, we don't want the solid fuel this time. Let's just forget that idea. That should allow us to get to 10 kilometers without uh, using so much boom power in this stage, but we'll make this stage bigger. Okay, and that'll be the plan. Okay, SAS on, or whatever stability assist is called, and... That is the only tank we care about now. And we need... It doesn't show the boom power here, but anyway, we'll say 3,200 is what we want. That should be enough. Okay. What? Okay. Um, I guess that's not how I have to boom it? Explosion has more than 3,162 boom power in a single fuel tank. I'm just gonna say retry. I mean, uh, on the previous one it read 900 boom power, but maybe I need to use the command disk instead of... this. Explode this part. Explosive power. But when I did it with the command disk last time, it read 900 over there, so... Maybe I should do it with the command disk. Okay. Maybe it doesn't count the stage itself? Or if the tank is partially empty? I don't know. I'm trying to read a game's mind. Okay, that should do the trick. 4,333 explosive power. Okay. Okay. Okay, well it's satisfied when I do it with the command disk, but not with the tank itself. Okay. All right, in flight, recover craft. All right, so that part's done. Let me just close this. But I might as well polish up the other other rocket contracts before moving on to cars again. 80 kilometers, 1 kilometer per second, 500 kilometers away. We could try the two-stager, or maybe this will work out. Two-stager will have more um, cost associated with it, but it'll be better off getting 500 kilometers away, that's for sure. Let me just go ahead with that. Okay, well, that should certainly do it. 3,560 meters per second. Available funds are a little bit tight though. $61,000 in order to launch this. Better work. Okay. And up we go. Wait, 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 wait. I definitely wanted... Okay, I keep forgetting that one progression. Hold on. Uh, let's just... Uh, retry undo. Undo and exit. Uh, I keep missing that this contract says progression instead of accepted, that's all. Uh, silly thing, but yeah. Well, since I'll probably make the same mistake there, I might as well say accepted there too. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. Starting our pitch program. We're just gonna go east. Oh. Oh, okay, go back, go back, go back. Let's just get that horizontal more. 45 degrees should be good. That'll give us a good balance between our vertical speed and horizontal speed. Okay, we're definitely past one kilometer per second, so that's no problem. Just a matter of getting to 500 kilometers. Alright, that's the end of our fuel. And... 
at Apoapsis, we got 250 kilometers. Gosh, I cut these things real close, don't I? Let me just try and angle for aerodynamics here. <laughs> sort of glide as much as possible. If I had wings right now, we'd be in good shape. 460. I don't know if we will survive the re-entry heat. I think previously, in my previous playthrough, I did on this one. Okay, we are getting lift. Note the vertical speed is picking up here. So... good enough. But we actually have to touch down. Okay, we glide a bit. Or a lot, actually. I wonder if it's going to be recoverable. So I did enable Parallax, finally. <laughs> I had installed the mod, but then hadn't enabled it in the menu, because there was a big gap in time between when I installed it. And... Getting around to playing the game. So, I guess these trees are added by Parallax. Maybe. I forget if there were trees before or not. Well, there's some other ground scatter here. That's definitely parallax. Oh, well. Smacked right into all of it. Yep, that's... I mean, I'm guessing that the foliage is parallax. And we've got some money. So we got that in flight. Okay. So... That leaves us... Well, Drew Orbit is up next. Okay. For the rockets. But we should do more cars. We've got an endurance trip for 5 kilometers. And the dreaded short route. Which is 5.21 kilometers. So, I guess we'll do both. But the short route gave me a lot of trouble last time. Okay, so I think we only have these wheels right now. Probably the rugged wheels would be better. I'm actually going to give it a lot of heft. Let's just make it a battery. It'll be a useful heft. One ton vehicle. It's not going to be bouncing off of the ground anytime soon, but will it be able to move much? Might as well fill up the power. Um, let's... Okay, so some of us right, so these weren't moving because they were on throttle instead of pitch. So we want everything on pitch. Except for turn input. Whoops. Turn input definitely yaw. Turn input yaw. RPM input on pitch. Okay, well that's an 80,000... Okay, maybe I should reduce the amount of battery because maybe that costs more money? No, it doesn't. Okay. And the dead weight is just as expensive. Oh, no, we can't add dead weight. Okay, so let me just put care locks. Hmm. That center mass is a little bit further forward because we've got a battery up there. Uh, let me just add one on the tail then. To sort of get it closer to the center. Okay. Alright. 53,000. Still pretty expensive. Stay grounded. Always difficult in the entertainment industry. No, um, anyway. Okay, the dreaded endurance trip. Well, actually, it's a short route that I dread. Oh, we hopped, but it didn't register that. Good. Okay, maybe going too fast. Considering I put a lot of weight in, Carolox it's hopping too easily still. C 
seems able to climb. Have to be cautious about that though. And now we have trees. They shouldn't be Clydewall trees. Checkpoint 3. Oh, this, this whole bit. Wish the terrain was a little bit nicer. Like, with more data per, per uh, point. Uh, okay, it can zoom up that even. You can hear the motor working. Okay, well, we got some air there. Um, I'd like to stay as high as possible. Uh, there's not too much of an opportunity for that. Uh, should I go around or climb this thing? Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! That just happened out of nowhere! Stop! Okay, okay, okay. Regroup. I should put gyros in here. I hope I have gyros in the core so that we could just sort of turn magically. Okay, but, but, but we re recovered. We're okay. It's difficult. This <laughs> this looks dangerous. Uh Okay. Let me go this way. Look at this landscape, seriously. Why would you even want a car to traverse this landscape? I'd want some sort of pack animal. <laughs> we need to Get a Sherpa. Oh gosh, this is dangerous. Are you going down gently? Well, we got ricocheted up quite a lot. Don't even need to provide any power to go around anymore. Why? I guess there must be a... Sometimes it looks like an upslope, but it's actually a downslope. I guess. Checkpoint 6. Well, it's a big downslope here. I'd like to stay up there instead of going all the way down into the valley. Oh, oh, oh! Some, I, I don't know where it's, it flips around sometimes. Uh, uh, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, we're, we're reversed now. Uh, okay, 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 stop. I didn't want to go that way. I didn't want to go that way. So I have to control everything backwards. There are positions where we might flip that would not be safe for us, that we would not be able to continue with. And checkpoint 7, which is a whole 1.6 kilometers away. Ah. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I could have used it flipping the other way around, but we didn't get that. Oh, 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 too fast, too fast. Okay, we could... Oh, 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 we completed endurance trip, but we might not endure this if we take more damage. Okay, brakes. Okay, I don't know which way around we are right now. We're still reversed. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Guess we should go down. Or should we stay up? Down looks dangerous, though. Oh, it was dangerous. These things can take a lot more damage than I remember. Oh, oh, wrong way. Oh, we, yeah. We, okay, we're, we're turning around so that I'm controlling normally again. Yay! <laughs> Alright. Okay, approaching checkpoint 7. Please don't kill me now. Please don't kill me now. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh, and see, it flipped out of nowhere. I swear. Okay, now we're going reversed, but. Just wanted to throw a curveball at me right at the end there. Okay, we completed that. So I completed on my first try in this playthrough, which just shows how traumatized I was from the previous time. And I definitely did not forget the lessons. <laughs> so traumatized I was by this mission. Okay, so we did that. Well, I think that's been pretty successful for this episode. We did a plane, we did a rocket thing, two rocket things. We did the fireworks, but I don't consider fireworks as counting. We exploded the rocket and then we did that difficult vehicle mission. So next time we'll, we'll get to orbit. Let's just accept that. And then we'll see what we do. I guess we should go faster. Probably getting to orbit will do this anyway. We've got a maximum of six jobs. And then... Learning how to fly. We could probably bundle that up with shockingly fast, right? And then our current vehicle should be able to do this in six minutes. So we'll just go with that village race one. So we've picked up a whole bunch of contracts to do. But I'm planning to bundle up the two plane ones and the two rocket ones and we'll once again try to do the whole trifecta in the next video so with that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time